The Kyoto Protocol is the first international agreement to fight global warming. It was signed by 141 nations, including all European and all other developed industrial nations except the U.S. and Australia. into effect on February 16, 2005 and expires in 2012. The Kyoto Protocol has been celebrated by its backers as a lifeline to save our planet from disastrous human cause effects of a warming global climate. The protocol sets legally binding targets for developed countries to reduce greenhouse emissions within seven years to about 5% below 1990 levels. To reach this goal, countries must put greenhouse emissions control on its largest polluters, which are corporations and militaries. Productivity will only be maintained if the polluters seek cleaner, renewable alternative energies to replace fossil fuel energy. Solar, wind, and geothermal energy are examples of renewable sources. Vice President Al Gore was a main participant in putting the Kyoto Protocol together in 1997. President Bill Clinton signed the agreement in 1997, but the U.S. Senate refused to ratify it, citing potential damage to the U.S. economy required by compliance. The Senate also balked at the agreement because it excluded certain developing countries, including India and China, from having to comply with new emission standards. The phase global warming refers to the scientific fact that our climate is getting warmer. Nine of the ten warmest years worldwide on record have occurred since 1994. Scientists have proven that our climate is getting warmer because of greenhouse gases, which are mainly carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. Greenhouse gases trap heat in the Earth's atmosphere, causing it to heat like a greenhouse. The scientific community believes that the global climate is warming because of greenhouse gas emissions from human activities, including industrial and manufacturing processes, fossil fuel combustion, and changes in land use, such as deforestation. Shockingly, the U.S. accounts for 25% of all greenhouse emissions in the world. George Bush made campaign promises in 2000 to regulate carbon dioxide as a pollutant. However, in 2001, George Bush pulled the U.S. out of the Kyoto Accords as one of the first acts of his presidency. Bush dismissed Kyoto Protocol as too costly, describing it as an unrealistic and ever-tightening straitjacket. Global warming began in the 20th century with the modern industrial age. 21st century continuation of this warming trend will result in melting glaciers and arctic ice sheets, which will cause rising sea levels to inundate coastal areas. London, Shanghai, Bombay, and New York can expect major flooding. 
Global warming also changes weather patterns, increased risk of droughts and hurricanes, and many health problems. The Arctic ice sheets have shrunk 20% since 19... The United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change the International Treaty agreed at the Rio Earth Summit in 1992 did acknowledge the climate justice principle that rich countries alone should take responsibility for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. These countries are known as Annex 1 countries, and it is they who are subject to legally binding targets under the Kyoto Protocol, which was negotiated in 1997 as a supplement to the UNFCC and eventually ratified in February 2005. Although current projections suggest that the aggregate Kyoto target will be achieved, this is no more than a pinprick in the menace of climate change. Its aggregate effect will be to reduce the 1990 level of greenhouse gas emissions by just over 5% by 2012, only a fraction of the cuts recommended by scientists to stabilize the climate. The single most important country refused to participate. The U.S. accounts for 20% of world emissions and key sources of emissions from aviation and shipping are omitted. The Kyoto process does, nonetheless, have its strengths. Unlike vague dependence on new technologies advocated by the U.S., it does have quantifiable targets and, unlike voluntary measures, these targets are legally binding.